Hey guys, Matthew, this video is going to be hopefully very short. I'm just going to bring you guys a rundown on Far Shot versus Point Blank for bow builds in general, and especially for Tornado Shot, as this is the build that I'm personally playing in this league, and a lot of people are also playing. And I've seen a lot of people arguing over Point Blank versus Far Shot, which simply don't really understand the mechanics that are that are playing through in the game. So it, the TLDR is that 90% of the bow builds are going to get a lot more value out of Point Blank. And the reason for that is because as projectiles go further and they shoot out in a cone, that's kind of how the game works, uh, they are going to get more spread and therefore less overlap on bosses. So even if technically one single projectile is going to do more damage from a uh, far shot, you're going to get a lot more damage from simply shooting directly in a boss's face via, via point blank and shotgunning. This is for basically every bow build except for tornado shot tornado shot is actually the exception and the reason for that is because of secondary projectile now the way the tornado shot works is that it shoots and once it reaches the end of its actual uh distance it's going to split into secondary projectile now the the range of the initial projectile is going to be added on top of the range of the secondary projectile when it actually spawns now this means that technically instead of having to shoot 70 radius which is roughly two-thirds of your screen from where your character is standing at any given point uh, to get the maximum amount of damage you can cut that distance in half you can shoot the, the projectile half that distance and as long as it comes back roughly half that distance you are going to get maximum damage now this means that in our case if this was my character and I'm trying to shoot a boss, the optimal way uh, to get maximum damage out of this is for the boss to be roughly here, and I would want to shoot somewhere around here, slightly behind the boss. Now, this means that the initial projectile is going to pass through the boss, and then it's going to split into secondary projectile, with the, which the range is going to be added to the initial projectile, and it's going to be very easy to reach the maximum damage of about 70 uh, range, which is going to be 60% more damage. Now, in a nutshell, this is, or in a vacuum, this is twice as good as point blank because point blank only offers 30% more damage at you know close range while far shot is 60% more however this is as i previously mentioned in a vacuum in the actual game it's not that simple and the reason for that is because we only have access to four sentences on a budget on a budget we will absolutely want to go focal point it's pretty much the only source of percent damage uh, reduction on the entire character and this is what makes us not feel like a piece of paper on the, despite the fact that we have like 3000 life matter of fact i've leveled to 100 on this build without using five wars or anything like that just through regular mapping it's not that squishy and a lot of, of uh, the main reason for that is focal point without focal point we are absolutely a piece of paper 25 percent more damage taken Another thing is gathering wins. Obviously, we're not going to drop gathering wins. It, it gives us a bunch of move speed, and move speed is actually extremely strong on this character as it allows us to manually dodge out of big slams, big attacks from the bosses and whatnot. And also, it just feels better for mapping. It offers a lot of attack speed as a multiplier to your actual action speed. And overall, there's just no way you're ever going to drop fart, uh, gathering wins or tailwind in general. And then finally, endless munitions. That's, uh, that's honestly a no-brainer. Additional projectiles on a bow build is what makes the build feel good both in terms of clear and in terms of shotgunning for 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 actual single target so endless munitions is obviously our, our number one choice here one of the most important ascendancies and what makes that eye so good so the real question is what do you want a ricochet or far shot now again in a vacuum far shot is better than point blank 30 percent more damage however the reality is that ricochet is actually adding a lot more than 30 percent damage to the build in most cases in boss fight scenarios where the boss is sitting somewhat close to the wall and it really doesn't have to be that close due to the fact that we are scaling a lot of projectile speed on this build uh, we are actually going to get roughly 60 percent more damage from ricochet and even more so if we were using tornado to actual chain our projectiles off uh off of the same way that we used to hi use hydrosphere so ricochet in itself is actually more damage in, in the vast majority of single target scenarios due to bosses being in enclosed areas than far shot so because this is more damage than this or equivalent damage then we are essentially getting 30 percent more damage for a single node on the tree via point blank and this is why in my opinion on a budget point blank is the absolute no-brainer and if you ever go far shot on a budget your build is going to feel significantly worse now note that in the end game scenario once you have access to forbidden flame jewels and once you have access to your fifth descendancy you are absolutely going to want to drop uh point blank as it is going to drastically increase your survivability as you will no longer have to stay very in close range and close proximity to the boss and not only that you are going to get an additional 30 percent more damage which is absolutely huge now let me go ahead and just quickly showcase how ricochet works so the way if you look at this wall over here right 
if I was to shoot my projectile roughly there, because we actually a ton of uh, projectile speed on this build, due to the fact that it actually scales our damage via this mastery over here, increases in reduction in projectile speed applied to damage with bows. If I was to shoot my projectile here, you will see that it is actually going to go all the way back and hit this wall, right? This is why Farshot is so strong on this build. Now, not only that, once it collides with terrain, it can actually bounce back again and go hit a boss. And now this, in theory, is not that good because most projectiles are just simply not going to actually do that. But because we have a pseudo aimbot with Sniper's Mark, which basically um, it says projectiles which hit cursed enemies split towards five additional targets, this is actually a bit of a hack with tornado shot because your initial projectile your main tornado shot with the main arrows is always going to hit the boss as you're going to shoot it through the boss now once the, the main projectile splits into a secondary projectile it's actually going to be accounted as a new projectile which can also hit the boss and because projectiles with which hit cursed enemies split towards five additional targets well the additional target can actually be the same target because it's a new projectile so this is essentially why ricochet is in theory in reality more damage than actually far shot is or relative or basically the same amount of damage meanwhile on pob it doesn't actually say that it's any additional damage so don't let pob fool you sometimes you have to understand the mechanics on a deeper level to really make those decisions which is why i always tell people if you want to make sure that your build feels good just follow your build guide the way that it's been made for you so before I go, as always, I do want to say a huge thank you to my supporters. So Russ Gold, Brandon, welcome back, Thomas Mass, Nate, the Great Master, Alex, Tim, Mercury, and Johnny, as well as Novgar, Solomon, Exo, Jira Costa, and Bidzen, and everybody else who has just remained anonymous, anyone else who has supported me in the past. If you enjoyed these kind of videos where I go in depth and explain a mechanic, let me know in the comment section. I'll be sure to make more. That'll be Matthew signing out. Until next one, peace.